This week I'll be teaching you how to make this record themed pop up card. The main thing that you're going to need for this project is the greatest hits stamp set and die set from Sugar Pea Designs as well as their stencil and a scoreboard. For more specifics, check out the description below. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the big record die and I'm going to tape it onto some black paper and I'm going to die cut four of them. So now I'm going to take my small circular die and I'm going to cut out some yellow inserts. I'm going to only cut out three of them because the fourth record is going to have its own special insert. Now I'm going to take some light gray and dark gray paper and I'm going to cut the arm of the needle on the light gray paper and the two pieces that will go on top of the needle in dark gray. To make my final insert, I'm going to take the stamp of a half filled like insert and then I'm going to use my stamping block and the pool party color by stamping up and I'm just going to stamp it onto a blank sheet of Bristol Smooth cardstock. Now I'm going to take these circular words that say thank you around it and I'm going to use my VersaFine ink and I'm going to stamp it inside of the circle that I just stamped out. Once my ink is dry, I'm going to take the die that matches up with it and I'm going to go ahead and die cut it. Now I'm going to take my music note dies and I'm going to cut it out of the same yellow paper that I did for the circular inserts on the records. Now I'm going to take a piece of brown cardstock that I've cut to be 8.5 by 2.5 inches and I'm going to score it at the 2.5 mark. That's going to be the depth as well as the surface of our DJ table. It already fits the record and such, so now I need to cut the height. I'm going to score it at the one half mark past that, so at three, so that it sticks up half an inch past the card. Then I'm going to mark it two and a half inches past it again at five and a half, and then I'm going to flip it around and do another half inch, so at two and a half inches, I'm going to score it again. So this way it's all even and it all will fold up perfectly. I'm going to assemble my box. I'm going to put some really strong tape on the side that's going to be folded over. So I'm just going to put it on all four sides and then put it together. I'm just going to tape the bottom of the box. Using the fold in my card base, I'm going to stick it down so that the solid side will attach to the other side. So the gaps in the box are going to be on the top and bottom, not on the sides. So I'm not going to tape the second side yet. Instead, I'm going to take a bit of my tape, that's strong tape, and I'm going to put it on the side of the box that's going to attach. So I'm going to push it flat and I'm going to put it on that side. I'm going to remove the top part and then I'm just going to close the card so that it opens naturally and it'll be able to open and close without smushing the box. Now that the inside's done, I'm going to take my stencil and I'm going to washi tape it to my surface in place.
Now I'm just gonna take some purple and blue Distress Ink and I'm just going to move it in a circular motion around the stencil. What I'm doing is I'm stemming from the center the blue and then on the outer edges, I'm going to mix it with the purple. Of course, you can do whatever colors you want. I just thought this would give it a really nice look. So now I'm just going to start assembling my records. I'm going to take a little bit of glue and I'm just going to glue the yellow part onto the record itself. And I'm going to do the same thing with the special record that's going to go on the inside. I'm going to assemble my card. On the front, I'm going to glue one of the yellow records and I'm going to put it in the center of my stencil design. Before I assemble my table, I'm going to assemble my record needle. The two gray bits I'm just going to glue onto the needle itself, and then that's finished. Going to go ahead and glue my special record to the leftmost side of the table so that it's still on but it also has room for the needle. Then I'm going to take the needle itself and I'm going to put glue on it and then glue it down onto the table. When I glue it down I want it to be partially on the record and partially off of it. By the way, this card is going to open horizontally, so now I'm going to open it up and on the top I'm going to overlap the remaining two records. Now I'm going to take some really, really fine tip matte glue and I'm just going to glue on the little music notes in kind of a random order near the top of the card. Now that that's finished, I'm going to take the You Rock sentiment, I'm going to use that Versafine ink again, and I'm just going to stamp it on the top of the card where the records are. you guys enjoyed this pop-up record card tutorial. I'm personally going to be using it for my music teacher for the end of the year and I hope you can do the same. If not, it's still a really great card for anybody who loves music. As usual, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay crafty till next time!